What's up guys, it's Ed here from ClicksGeek and today we're going to talk about Google Ads campaign um, and why you shouldn't pause it. Um, this is a conversation I had uh, a lot with my clients, especially our local business clients who feel the need to pause things when they get super busy. Um, and then Joe from PVC Professor, uh, who does good work, he's a big fan of the channel, emailed me and, and um, was suggesting we do a video on this. Um, because what I'm about to describe, he is also experienced as well. And he's not the only one. I talked to lots of PPC friends that also experience it. And so let me outlay or let me lay out what I'm talking about. So let's say you've got a, a Google Ads campaign that's going well. Um, and it's starting to get dialed in. You're getting a good cost per lead. Google's kind of you know rewarding you. You're getting lots of conversions, good click-through rate, good cost per lead. And all of a sudden you get slammed with work and then you pause the campaign. What happens, what we've seen is when you go to restart that campaign, you don't go back to that same consistency. Um, it's almost as if the way I describe the clients is, is Google looks at their advertisers as um, like, like home renters, basically. They think of them as cash flow assets. And if you just stop paying your rent all of a sudden, they're going to go find someone else to replace you and or um, you know, favor someone else in the market that's consistently paying them. So for whatever reason, um, I, and, and you won't find anything uh, about this in Google support. You may find this in some like chat rooms, but just generally speaking, what we find is accounts that are doing well with frequent pause and restarts, um, the campaigns just slowly diminish in performance over time and don't get back to that same level. So much so that we've actually deleted accounts and started new accounts and cloned campaigns into new accounts to get them back to where they were. So it's an issue. Um, no one's really ever going to talk about it, but we've noticed it. Um, there's something in the algorithm that um, de-incentivizes, or I don't know what the right word is, but it's, it doesn't go to your yeah, to your favor. The ball's not in your court if you're doing that. So what we recommend clients do instead of a pause is just lower it down to five dollars a day, or a dollar a day, or ten bucks a day, um, because what we found is is losing that five or ten bucks or twenty bucks a day, depending on how how high your budget is is um, far better than losing performance in the campaign. So not a big pan, fan of pausing. Frequent pausing is a disaster for a campaign. Um, clients that are in there pausing, starting, stop, start, stop, stop, pause, it doesn't work well. Um, you've got to give the campaign some legs to, to run and um, get the impressions to get the clicks, to get the conversions, to get the AI working, give it enough data so you can switch over to some of the bid strategies that are that could be more effective. Pauses can kill the account. So um, if you are a frequent pauser and you know who you guys are out there, um, you're not doing yourself a favor if you do that. You're actually hurting the account. So just lower the budget all the way down. Do yourself a favor. Do it that route. Um, and, yeah, hope this helps. My name is Ed, um, one of the founders here at ClicksGeek. We're a Google Premier Partner Agency, and we specialize in lead gen for local businesses. And um, side note, we've seen this in tons of different industries across the board. Um, and we're not able to identify anything in any Google literature to, to speak to this. It's just something we're seeing. So keep an eye out for it. If you're seeing it in clients um, that have, are coming back from a pause, um, you know, something you may want to have the conversation with uh, the client about. Um, and if it's persistent and you just can't get that functionality back in the campaign, so it's not performing as well, think about potentially um, cloning the campaign into a new account and uh, deleting the old account. It's something to think about. I don't like doing that because you lose all that historical data, but um, results are results. And if, and if you're not able to get the results back in that campaign, um, something to think about. So hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, drop a link below. Take care. Bye.